Shivat that if you pronounce the first part of the Shema slowly, the Gainom is so cold. What is me now? The Gainom is cold. Yeah. You and me. What is me now? You asking what is the meaning of it? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, <coughs> let me correct what you said first, a little bit. First. Of all. What? First of all. First of all. First of all. <laughs> I will I will correct it a little bit. It says Akore Shma umedakdek beotiotea. Okay, if you are saying the Shma and your precise pronunciation. Oh. Okay. Uh, then it says Metzanin lo genom. They calling the the genom for you. Okay. So it's not about it's not about the kavana. Obviously. Kavana Oki Ashma is a big, big thing, okay? But in what, what you are quoting is specifically about the pronunciation of Shema. And when we speak about pronunciation, it's a big subject. There's a big, big, like, uh, argument in the Jewish world about what is the right pronunciation, okay? And if you go to different communities, so you'll hear different ways of, of pronunciation. And it is uh, very confusing, okay? Very confusing. And I'm not going to go into that right now because it's a very big subject and there's a lot of arguments about it. And I, I, so I'm just saying that you have to know that it's not, it's not one way, okay, of, of pronunciation. But obviously there is things that everybody agrees that they are not correct or everybody agrees that they are correct. Okay, so those things that have the, like consensus about like right, right or wrong, so those things obviously you have to you have to try to apply. Okay, the things that are questioned, so most of the people they choose one way or the other. They they some people they go to Yamanite pronunciation, some people go to Sephardic pronunciation, some going to Litvish. Ashkenaz pronunciation, some people go to Hasidic. Hasidish Ashkenaz pronunciation. <coughs> so also, this is the, the main four ways, but when, within those four ways, there is also like small differences. For example, in the Sephardic, you, like, you'll find differences between the Moroccan and the, and the Iraqi uh, uh, Jews, you know. But I'm just saying example. So, so there's many, many, like, when you go, when you go, there is people that, that's what they do. They are experts of, like, researching all those different kinds of pronunciation. And it's a, it's a, it's a big subject. It's a big subject. Okay? Anyhow, um, usually the best, the most simple thing is to do whatever your rabbi does. Okay? So whatever your rabbi is doing, so you learn the pronunciation from him and you try to apply that. But a good place to practice the pronunciation is Shema, because of what you said, because there's, a, there's a, like a blessing to have a, to cool the, the genom. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, uh, sad that Chazal tells us, as if, as if Chazal tells us, for sure you will have genom. The question is what will be the temperature over there? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm saying that it's a little bit sad that Chazal, the sages, are telling us, for sure you will have Genom. The question to be the temperature. If you said the Shema correctly with the right, very right pronunciation, it will be a cool Genom. It will, if you didn't say it correctly, so it, so it will you know, increase the, the, the temperature. Okay, whatever we have to go through, we'll have to go through. But by the way, you have to know that the Genom is not a bad, a, a bad place to be. Okay? Why? Because the genom is like like to to go through like a like a laundry. Okay, so it's not so nice to be inside of a laundry machine, but when you go out, so you're clean, right? So it's not so bad. There is there is other possibilities that are that are worse than genom. Okay, I'm not going into that now, but there is other other possibilities. So genom is not is not the is not the worst place. Anyhow. Um, so it's a good place to, to start, to practice your pronunciation, to say the Shema slowly. And you have to know when you are davening with the, with the Yeshiva, so 
many times the shliach tzibur is not waiting. So he's like he's going straight through. Okay, so if you want to have time to say the Shema, so, like slowly, to have the Kavana and to have the pronunciation and all of those things, so you have to pre-plan your schedule of praying and to come a little bit early and to start a little bit early and to get to Kiyat Shema before the Shlech Sibur does and then you have time that he, until he gets to Kiyat Shema to say it slowly and to go through all the vowels and all the movements and to, 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 to do it in the right way. And I think it's, the, it's very, very good to do that. So if you, if, and, then, and then you try to, 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 to fit yourself to the pace, pace of, the, of the congregation and to, to hit the Amidah, the, the prayer of, of the Shemona in the same time, and then, then you are covered from all sides. Okay, so that's, that's, a, that's a good advice.